I stand by my position as a psychologist, as an educator, as a therapist for normally 20 years, as a therapist for normally 20 years. What I have said though, based on my work directly with children, as a school psychologist, as a therapist, working almost 25 years, as a therapist, working almost 25 years. Anti-Afro Svengalis, here you have it, Umar Johnson re-spinning his lies. And I'm here to make sure everybody is aware of it because there are some people who may not know what Umar Johnson has done. You heard Umar Johnson in 2015, which was the first clip, claiming to be a therapist for 20 years. Just so you know, I'm going to be doing a second video where Umar is spreading his ignorance about uh, children or people being molested, and that's why they end up gay. I'm going to deal with that in another video. I mean, the ignorance is so profound, but let's start with this. If Umar Johnson in 2015 had been a therapist for 20 years, he would have been in his early 20s, like 21. Same thing applies if Umar Johnson had been a therapist for 25 years, and here we are in 2021, same thing, he would be 21, 22 years old. Right there, people, we know it's a lie. Let me clarify why it's a lie. Who graduates from their bachelor's program by 21? Essentially no one. After you finish a bachelor's degree, even if you get a master's, which is the minimum degree, and in fact, that's the degree that most therapists do have that provide therapy. The overwhelming majority of people provide therapy, have a master's degree. So even if you go by that, 21 years old is too young. Umar claims to have a doctorate degree. Who do you know at 21 has a doctorate degree? Not only that, has gone through all of their training and supervision and monitoring and testing to earn a license. He stood up there and told a bald face lie for the purposes of pushing an agenda that's bogus. If you have an agenda, you should be able to push that an agenda. You should be able to push that agenda with some facts. Umar continuously lies, especially when it comes to the mental health field. Why is that? Because Umar doesn't have the knowledge to be able to pull anything off. So he uses the incendiary claims for people to just tack onto. Ignorance spreads like wildfire. Like wildfire. Here is the difference this time. Umar had undergone that process in Pennsylvania where they frankly did not verify that he worked at a school. And that was the centerpiece to how Umar Johnson was able to use these titles because he claimed to have an association working with schools. So you can use abbreviated titles. So you are not allowed to privately practice as a school psychology in Pennsylvania unless you are working at a school. Umar lied, he wasn't working at a school, and they never verified the employment. The hearing officer moved forward without that verification. That is on the record. Umar had stated many times on the breakfast con, which is why I'm glad he's doing these interviews again, that he was a therapist. He provided absolutely no evidence of that. He is not licensed and he should not be able to call himself a therapist. We all knew what was going on. Umar was confining his crimes to the black community so nobody cared. That's how he skated. Why would they give a crap? He's not affecting any white people. That's the only reason why Umar Johnson skated and he knows that's why he skated. But now he's in Wilmington. So now the process is starting all over again. He's trying so hard to compete with Kevin Samuels that he is, in his mind, forced to tell this lie, that he is a therapist. You have to lie in order to compete with someone he thinks is taking money out of his pockets that he never earned. And don't get me started on Kevin Samuels. You guys know how I feel about the things that he says, but he is not claiming to be a therapist. 
He hasn't threatened to kill anybody. He hasn't ordered people to dox. So Umar Johnson is in a category onto himself. I don't care what anyone else is doing over there, over here, over here. I know what I'm going to be doing. And anyone who is dedicated to holding him accountable, it's going to be done through agencies. It's not going to be done by Umar taking responsibility and it's not going to be done with any community mobilization because we've seen Umar Johnson do what he's doing for how many years and who sticks up for him. That doesn't even matter. I stated it. People were going to have to make sure they filed their complaints with these agencies so they can take care of the situation. Umar is embroiled in so many different things. He isn't going to come on and tell you. And he certainly doesn't trust anybody out there to confide in, to let them know what's going on. He's not going to do that. They don't have any information about Umar. They're simply capitalizing on the hot topic. And the hot topic is Umar Johnson and the Kevin Samuels and Umar Johnson and the Manosphere, whatever. Let them do what they're going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on what I stated from the beginning. I have never wavered. It makes no difference if I do a video on another topic. I'm going to keep doing exactly what I stated. Let's see how Delaware handles this situation because in no state is anyone allowed to state or to hold him or herself out to be a therapist or a mental health professional and no you do not have to say licensed license is implied he's saying he has performed provided therapy for 25 years he should be required to prove that unlike what happened in pennsylvania and as the side note i found it rather ironic that this hearing officer who rendered this decision resigned shortly after this Umar Johnson situation. Because you have to know, no one is above review. And I believe that decision was reviewed. There was no documentation required. Umar knows he skated because his target was the black community. This time we are going to see he's up there in Wilmington, Delaware, now claiming to be a therapist for 25 years. We are going to see where this leads. In the meantime, stay tuned. Buyer beware.